so much to us is really appreciated and um, it's, as I say, it's just fantastic to be here. Um, I think very simply uh, what I found so moving about this story was it was a story about the, the, the worst and the best of human nature and it, it kind of told us a story of what we were capable of as human beings, both the very, both the very worst and the very best. And um, I, I kind of reminded us of what, I, you know, simple as that, of what we were capable of. And um, I think um, for Eric to survive the experiences he had and to get to a, a place of peace and love, where he, at, by, by the end of his story was um, a remarkable thing and uh, and inspiring. And, in a way, those are the stories that um, you know really move and uh, interest me in, in turning into a film. So that was re that was really the starting point for me. Thank you. Um, and it took for a long time to stop Colin getting the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the adaptation was very very um, challenging, and what what Frank and I over many years have been involved were, were able to do was to work with Eric and with Patty. To try, and, to try and make sense of a journey from literally wanting to kill somebody to being able to find that grace <laughs> to forgive. And the book is a very beautifully written piece that captures Eric's voice. Uh, but we start out really by saying, how did you, how did, what, what was that? And we came into it such a long time ago that I don't think Eric quite understood himself what the process was. So what we tried to do with him was to get inside his head and, you know, for us, there are, as you just finished the book, there are six words in the book where he says in Nagase, I wanted to drown him, to cage him, to beat him. And what we tried to do was work through those emotions and give him sort of a, a physical journey that captured what was going on in his head. Uh, and so we've changed things, but we did it very much with Eric and Patty and hopefully got to the point where that worked. Yeah, uh, in, the, in the book it's almost instant, you know, the, the minute they meet, it's sort of almost like a weird love at first sight thing, and it is partly because they corresponded, because Patty wrote this very passionate letter. I could, it's just like, I think, in the f you do have those instant feelings, you can fall in love at first sight, it's just, in the movie you need to kind of understand what was going on, it's almost as though we've slow mode emotion, a, a moment in somebody's life and let it sort of work its way through, if that's what... When we first met Eric, that book had just come out, and the fact that the book had come out had changed his life so much, and he became a kind of a spokesman. So it was, it was like, it was a very changing thing. Um, and it was, and we didn't want to challenge his version of the story, because your story is who you are. And we had to be very curved. Like, normally if I was writing a story based on someone's real life experiences, I would really challenge them and take them apart and question it. And, you know, for Eric and Patty, finding that story is what kept them alive, you know? You see, it's, there's a line in Yates, tread softly because you tread on my dreams. I think we have to tread softly because we were often walking on Eric's nightmares, you know? So we have to be tender with him, really. Um, come. Um. <laughs> Those are all very no, satisfactory not. answers. So, uh, what's the question? <laughs> I think they just wanted a nice anecdote from you about this experience, and if Patty could give one as well. <laughs> nice anecdote. <laughs> no, I, I, um, I don't, I don't find myself ready with a nice anecdote, but uh, it's. Um, you know, sometimes a, a story is an awful lot bigger than any individual or, or interpretation of it. And I think um, this didn't feel like another film or another film opportunity to any of us, really. And, uh, you know, when I, when I was presented with this script, I, I hesitated because of that. I, I wondered if it was actually too big a story to find itself into a 90 minute format. Um, and for those of us who were so ill-equipped, really, uh, to, you know, the tools we have, uh, basically, our, our imagination, you know, we have 
you have your 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 your, your, your body, your your imagination, and whatever emotional registry you, you have. And I thought, I just don't know if I got, I've got all that for this. Um, you know, and, and it, it's it, it's immense, and, and it's not just about what happened in 1942 and 43. It's not just about um, any one moment in anyone's life. It, it, it's an attempt to. Um, it's an attempt to relay what's most important to us, and it took decades to, to develop. And uh, so I hesitated. And the minute I hesitated, I realized it was very difficult to walk away from because something's just, you know, if our job's ever worth anything, um, this is a story that is, is trying to get told. You know, Eric had told it in his way, as Frank had said. Done something very important in doing that, and it had come at great cost. As you know, Patrick can testify, it, it was a very long process to get to the point where he went from not speaking at all to anybody about this to writing an entire book, which spoke for an awful lot of people that had not been heard. And then, if you're invited to use your job as a part of the storytelling process, then you know, you can't just walk away. So having demurred, I then went scurrying back to Andy Patterson and the room said, please let me back in, I want to do it. <laughs>